what is your dream lady? Is it me? Or is it the subscribe button? Ooh, she's red. You can click on her, you know. She's always there. Aww. Everywhere you go, you keep her picture in your wallet, like... The picture I always keep in my wallet, like... <laughs> Crap. <laughs> anyway, today we're gonna date some ladies. Doodling our freaking dream girl. Let's play. Oh, a notebook. Okay, this is exciting. Summer vacation ended, and as usual, I remained single throughout it. No summer flings, no beach parties, just me and a whole lot of TV and video games. Tss, sounds like my summer so far. Actually, no. This is fuzzy snowy cloud summer. I go to beach parties and I go on dates through video games. So, so here I was, back at school, back to hearing about everyone else's summer exploits. Good thing it's my last year of high school. Hopefully in college, I won't have to put up with this kind of crap. For now, it's just back to idle doodling. As I was opening my notebook, I heard a strange voice coming from inside the pages. Wait, girl, where's your nose? <laughs> Oh my god! It was one of my old drawings! She was talking! Do I get to do a girl voice? Okay. I can't believe it's you! We were worried sick! We thought you'd never come back. Come back from where? <laughs> I never met you! Beats me! You used to draw in our pages all the time, and suddenly you left! No matter now, you're back! Come in, creator. Should I tell them my name? Instead, I like, I don't want to be called creator. Uh, before I could reply, I suddenly found myself being pulled into the pages of my notebook by a mysterious force. I feel like I'm in that one Scooby-Doo video or episode. No, that one supernatural episode where it's Scooby-Doo. I don't care if you know what I'm referencing. What is happening? Welcome, creator, to Doodle World. Place where all your wonderful creations come to life, including me. Thanks for that. I enjoy existing. Don't we all? It, does that mean I'm a drawing right now, too? Bring me back to the real world. This is a real world, silly. Anyway, let's loosen up those wrist muscles, hey? Start by drawing something simple, like your favorite fruit. Go ahead, try it. My favorite fruit. I don't know. What is my favorite fruit? I think my favorite fruit is applesauce. I'm gonna draw a go-go squeeze. I know that I should be drawing an apple, but like, look at this thing. This is my reference. Wait, oh wait, is there an eraser? I messed up the Z, I'm so sorry. I'm not very good at writing. Thanks, kinda looks like perfume. <laughs> wow, that looks delicious. Thanks. You sure know how to draw. I've I've had a lot of experience drawing. Um, just like how I made um, YouTuber cookies. <laughs> oh, I love that video. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we try creating a person we can talk to? Make sure it's a cute one. You never know if a drawing might have a thing for their creator. Not that I'm implying anything. <gasps> what? Girl with no nose. Oh my gosh. My relationship with you is strictly professional. Okay. Draw your dream date. Happy. Oh my god. Wait, I have to draw my dream date? Should I draw a girl? Who do I draw? I know what I'm drawing. <laughs> this is awful. Oh, creator, that is simply stunning. Thanks. Well, what are you waiting for? I'll let you get to know each other a little better. Yay! <laughs> I forgot my microphone was over there. Hello. Um, hi. Thanks for making me. You're welcome. I didn't have much of a choice. Do you know how I can leave this place? You want to leave? So soon after making me? Oh, you hate me, don't you? I don't know why I gave him this voice. The, the voices just choose me. Okay, they choose me. I don't choose them. <laughs> of course not. I don't hate you at all. I don't even know how I got here. I see. Well, I'm sure you just have tons of dates lined up in the real world, don't you? I mean, no. I don't see how that's relevant to the topic. <laughs> I'm so bad at drawing. Never hire me to do any art, please. <laughs> because if you stay, you might have one date lined up right now. I couldn't believe it. My drawing wanted to date me? I'd never been with someone so beautiful before. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Very beautiful. One of a kind. So what will it be, Big Shot? What should I say? Oh my god. 
I think I want to stay for Robin. Anything for you, Robin. I mean, I suppose I could stay here a bit longer, especially if it means you and I could, you know, date. I can't do this anymore. Bingo! Yes, I'd love to go on a date. So, how does dating work in this world exactly? Here, let me show you. Tell me I don't have to draw anything else. Uh, where are we exactly? Ah, uh, to a fancy restaurant, of course. I want a first date to be classy. It looks exactly like where we were before, just a blank page. Except there's bananas and fruits and swirls. Now go on, draw us up a waiter. Oh my god. Oh my god. I know exactly who our waiter's gonna be. Here's our waiter, guys. The one and only, Anthony Padilla. Oh, hello there, good looking. What can I get for you? Good looking? I said draw us a waiter, not a flirt. You just can't help but draw beautiful people who like you, huh? What? No, I didn't mean to, I swear. I just, I'm a big fan of my bully Anthony. Ah, uh -huh, sure. Just like you didn't mean to make me gorgeous. <laughs> Tell you our accidentally remarkably attractive waiter exactly what it is they can get for you oh what can i get for you we would like to have a moment or loan or favorite fruit i want my go-go squeeze back nice move i feel like my concerns were addressed sorry robin i really could go for a go-go squeeze right now you said to order something don't you understand subtext never mind you know what this whole thing was a bad idea jumped into this too soon i should have known better i'm sorry i guess i don't know what i'm doing i've never gone on a date with someone before I mean, I haven't either. I haven't only recently come into existence about five minutes ago. Fine, we can try starting over. We talked throughout the entire evening about whatever we could. It wasn't much, but I could tell we were starting to bond. Me and Robin, nothing better. Finally, the night came to an end and we parted ways. I drew myself up an apartment to stay the night in and I slept like a baby in the comfiest bed I could imagine. Literally, I think I could get used to this place. I, did I shift? <laughs> Am I on shift talk? Oh my gosh. No, imagine. It's time to get up, sleepyhead. And more importantly, time for another lovely outing with your dream date. Why so early? Because it's never too early to spend time with the love of your life. How are you so sure? Because you created them as such as silly. I mean, I created you two, right? I can't say I'm sure what you're getting at. Draw yourself something nice to wear. Let's get going. Okay, I'll draw myself something nice. Yay, that's me. Can you guys tell? Those look like crap. Yeah, you're definitely not wearing that. Tell ya a lot. Just keep what you're wearing already. Fashion isn't your strongest suit. Just cause I'm wearing a freaking bow tie! Oh, it's cause I, it was the bow on the bow. Okay, I forgot about that, sorry. I couldn't help it. The bow on the bow was just, it was calling to me. It was the moment. Okay, look. The moment. Here we are. Have fun, you two. Oh no. And it looks like the park is another blank page. Suppose I shouldn't be too surprised. Ugh, I had fun with you last night. Yeah, me too. So, what do you want to do? I want to go on a walk. Let's let's see around the the page. I, I just realized that I only gave him a nose in this specific drawing. No other drawing. So he loses his nose when he feels any other emotion but happy. Do you think something is wrong with me? Is my existence just to exhibit some fantasy of yours? And is thus hollow to begin with. Uh, that's, uh, heavy. On the other hand, you're really cute. Do you think I'm cute? You're more than cute. I hate this game. You are by far the most amazing person I've ever laid my eyes on. And it's this flippin' drawing! Ah! Before I could react, Sketchy had grabbed me and pressed their graphite mouth against mine. Smooch. <laughs> <laughs> I better get going. Oh, what's the rush? This all feels like it's moving so fast. I think I just need to lie down for a bit. Don't feel bad. I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully, more than that. I had just arrived back from my apartment when I suddenly heard a familiar voice coming from my bedroom. Hello again! Why are you in my bedroom? To ask you how your date went, of course. It went great, actually. Why are you so invested? Very interested in knowing if you are getting the love you deserve, creator. Please quit calling me that. Do you have feelings for me? What? No, of course not. Quit calling me creator. I'm gonna... I want you to find your true love. And your true love is obviously your dream date sketchy. After all, you drew them that way. You do love sketchy, don't you? <gasps> oh my god. But what if I love you? 
I do love sketchy. Oh my god. I don't know, girl. The little rice jeans are not the moment. This is I'm this is really putting me on the spot. I don't know either of them very well. You're right. I do. At least I think I do. I don't know what I feel. Relationships are so new to me. Well, I'm sure you'll figure it out sooner or later. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sure you'll figure it out sooner or later. I'm sorry if I made things strange for you. My feelings for Sketchy were real, and I was now more excited than ever to see them again. Frantically, I hopped into my pants. Be there in a minute. As I got the zipper up, I tripped over the doodle carpet and fell to the floor with a thud. Gee, I was thinking maybe we could see a movie. Draw a movie. Oh my god. Oh my god. Picture my booty up in 3D. I'll shake my booty in my own movie. BOOM! I like the part where they fell on their butt! <laughs> there was no future I could imagine that didn't involve Sketchy. I let Sketchy know how I felt. Ahem! <laughs> uh, Sketchy, I love you. Go on. Sketchy, will you marry me? Oh, I get to control an engagement ring! Oh my- oh, and my julieb. The bat ring! Yeah! I wanted it to be perfect, you know? It will be, because you and I will be married by the end of it. I could see our first guest arriving in the distance. I walked over to greet them, only to find a face I haven't seen in a long time. <gasps> oh my god! She's gonna freaking speak now at my wedding! I have always had feelings for you, right from the start. Ah! I guess what I'm trying to say is, I love you. Dang, on my wedding day? On my freaking wedding day? I don't know what way I want this to go, now that I think about it. Forget it. I want drama. Don't! Just don't say anything back. My heart can't take it either way. I'm not here to crush a wedding. That's not who I am. I just need to be honest with you. It's just something I had to do for myself. You're not here to crush a wedding, but you're literally crushing my wedding right now. Make it make sense, girl. Oh my god. <gasps> Anthony Fazia! Hey dear, figure out what we're doing for dinner tonight. Uh, no. I have not thought about that. Well, would you think of something soon? I'm getting kind of hungry. Give me a beer, woman. <laughs> I mean, theoretically. I don't need to eat, as I don't have a digestive tract, but some food would be nice. You know, maybe I don't have to make us something every night. Well, I'm not the one who can magically draw us up meals. I mean, does cooking not exist here? Anything you want exists here, that's the point. So if I want you to make dinner, you can? Not having it with this attitude you got here. You need a minute? Because I can give you a few days on your own. Is that what you want? This whole relationship. This whole spontaneous event we've gone through together, it's been fun. But I'm realizing now that I need more than fun in my life. I need to do something for myself. I need to find out who I am. What are you talking about? I want a divorce. <sighs> do I gotta draw a lawyer now? Oh, my lawyer is Anthony Padilla. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, well now I gotta sign it. Can't believe I just like got married and divorced. Not the Batman ring! No! There was a knock at the door. Hello? <laughs> no way! I know it's been a long time, but I can't stand to be away from you any longer, my love. But then I realized something. I don't just want to be in your mouth. I want to be in your heart forever. What? What? You can call me your favorite, but to me, you're my destiny. That was it? <laughs> Anyway, bye Fuzzy Snowy Cloud. I just married a go-go squeeze. That is the craziest thing I've ever done. Thank you for 700 subscribers. That's awesome.